let's come to make a start. Um, we are going to come to start at the top of our mats. We're going to come to lie down onto our back. So the cushions are only if you're pregnant. Stack them up so that you're lying halfway. You're not lying all the way down. I'm going to take them out of the way. But just remember that if you're pregnant, just use that there. Otherwise, we're going to come to lie down. And as we lie down, we're going to bring our feet together and take our knees out wide. As we go through the practice this morning, I'm going to give you options to make the practice easier and options to make it harder for you. Um, so just go with, it, with whichever version works best in your body today. So let's come with the feet together, knees wide. Come to lie all the way back, all the way onto your backs. And you're just gonna rest the hands onto the belly here. And I want you to close the eyes. Now, if closing your eyes doesn't feel very comfortable for you, then just keep your gaze fixed somewhere that doesn't move. As we just start to slowly bring that awareness within. Taking a few moments here just to become really aware of your body. Noticing how you feel now at the start of your practice. And if this doesn't feel very comfortable here in the hips, just take your legs further forward just to soften this pose. And if it feels really uncomfortable, just lift the knees up. But what we're doing here is we're just starting to open our hips. And we're going to focus on the hips in the class today. We're focusing on poses that strengthen the inner thighs and the hip muscles, as well as stretch. You want to combine the two for that flexibility here. Now, as we go through our practice, we really want the muscles to begin to relax as we go into our poses. And we can do that by thinking about the breath. So now just start to notice where you feel the breath. Do you feel it into the chest? Does your belly move at all as you breathe? And on your next inhale, just see if you can feel the belly rise on that inhale. So we start to bring the breath into the belly. When we do this, we start to engage the diaphragm, the muscle that helps us with our breathing. This helps us to relax the body here. So really lovely deep breaths in through the nose. And breathe it out through the nose, all the way out of the body. And as you do that, just start to feel your shoulders soften into the mat. Feeling your knees become heavy maybe. So you allow yourself to relax here. And from here, I want just to start to move the toes. Start to wake up all 10 toes here. You're just going to drop the hands to the side. We're going to lift the right leg up if you can. And if it's available, stay in this pose. Otherwise, bring the left knee up. But I want you to have that right knee out to the side as we work on that rotation in the hip here. And then I want you just to turn the knee inwards as you turn the foot outwards. As we start to work on the internal rotation here. Then bring it the other way. So again, we're just starting to play around with that movement and I want you to notice if, if it feels really uncomfortable one way compared to the other way. As we just explore that range of movement here, breathing into the body, place that leg down. We're gonna do that the other side, so your left leg lifts. Again, we're just playing with that movement here as we take the foot out to the side and we bring it back and the knee comes out to the side. Now don't go too far where it feels like it's really uncomfortable. It might just look like this, this movement. Just see where your limits are. And we're gonna play around with this movement as we go through our class today. Then placing that leg back down. You're going to bring the right knee in towards your waist. And now it might feel nicer for you to have that left knee lifted. So if this is too much of an opening, lift that left leg. But I want just with your right hand onto that shin, take your knee out to the side. So if you're trying to bring your knee to the armpit as you hug that leg in, and you're just gonna roll the right ankle a couple of times here. And hopefully you're still tracking that breath. Don't worry if you, if you forget about it, just every now and then come back to the breathing. Because when we're concentrating, we forget to breathe and we hold our breath. 
Now place that leg back down, this lovely diamond shape. We're gonna lift the left leg this time. And if you find that one side feels tighter than the other, that's completely normal, so don't worry. Just adjust accordingly on one side. Maybe that leg comes up for this variation. And then place that leg down. Now, if you're pregnant and you're doing this at a more upright position, you're gonna come into this figure four stretch with your right ankle to the left thigh. If you're, very, if you're at your early stages of your yoga practice, then you can do this version too. But if you can, I want you to see if you can cross the thighs together. So your thighs are squeezing in towards one another. Then lift your legs up. Again, you're going to bring your feet in towards you. So can you see how my feet are splitting apart? So I'm trying to bring my right foot towards me, my left foot towards me. And my right leg is crossed over my left. If you can, see if you can grab the shins here. As you pull the legs in a little closer, maybe you can grab the ankles. Try not to strain the shoulders lifting up to do this. So if you find that you are doing that, then just keep your hands to the side. But notice how it feels as we stretch those outer hip muscles here and we really breathe. So when people think about stretching the hips, they think about that internal so that opening in the hips. But we want to stretch these outer muscles too. Now if you really want to have a little challenge this morning, see if you can rock yourself up and bring that into a seated variation. Don't worry if you're like, absolutely not, that's fine. It's just a little challenge for you. And notice the difference in those hips. It gets deeper into that stretch here. So breathe. Maybe you lean a little further forward. Obviously, if you're pregnant, you'll be in that uh, um, reclined figure four stretch and not up to here. Now, see so if you can rock it all the way back. Great work, everyone. Switch it over. So remember, if you need to stay here, you can. If you can cross the legs, cross the legs, lift the legs. Left leg over right, grab a hold of the shins or the ankles, stretch those toes back, breathe into here. Lovely deep breaths. Now, if this is where you stay, this is fine, but if you can, see if you can rock up as we bring ourselves up into the seated variation. Breathe into here, see if you can take that little gentle lean forward. Bring it all the way back. Release those legs, give them a little kick, maybe shaking it, rocking those hips side to side. And then you're either gonna roll over to your left side and come up, or see if you can rock all the way up as we come to seated here. Hands behind you, feet a little further forward. You're gonna drop the knees to the right, look to the left, other way. Just taking it side to side. Breathe into here. Nice deep breaths through the body. Now this next bit we're gonna do is quite a difficult pose. But it's really great for that functional mobility. So if you're looking at it and you're like, absolutely not, remember this is your practice. So you'll just stay where you feel comfortable. So you're going to bring the uh, hip to the knee on your left side and your left shin's going to come across. Your right heel will come towards that, right, uh, that left heel and you're going to come over onto your right top of the foot. So if you can see, my legs are in this position. And your first option will just be to bring your left hand behind you, bring your right hand up. So you'll come to here. And if you're pregnant, this is the version I'd rather you take. Otherwise, you're gonna come up to the, onto those shins and feel those hips here as we have a little twist to the left. Breathe into here. Bring it back to center, lower down. See, we can do that again two more times this side. We come up. Feel the strength that's needed here to find that lift. Use your glutes, we're gonna twist. We bring it back, we bring it down. We'll do that one more time together. Breathe in, lift it up. Take that little twist here. Bring it back to center, let's bring it down. Switch the legs. So you've got your right hip to your right knee to the heel. Come onto the top of the left foot, left leg bend. Reaching your right toes back, it might be that your left arm comes over your right hand behind you and you hold it here. This is a great stretch. Otherwise, arms forward, can you come up? Can you take that twist to the right? To centre, lower it back down. Two more times, breathing in, we rise. Exhale to twist. Back to centre, last time we come down. Inhale, we rise up. Exhale, we twist. We come back and we lower it down. Take those legs up, give them a little shake. Great work, everybody. And now let's come over onto all fours as we get ourselves ready for our first downward dog. So we're going to have the wrist underneath 
the shoulders, spread the fingertips nice and wide. You're just going to start to roll around those hips, those wrists. Particularly in the morning, we can feel really tight in the body. So if you've just woken up and just had a coffee, you haven't hydrated yet, our bodies can feel dehydrated. So we want to just get the fascia moving around the body. And the fascia weaves in and around the muscles. So let's just start to loosen up here. Then from here, hands forward, tuck your toes under. We're going to lift those knees up, take those hips back. We're into that downward dog. Have a little pedal through the legs here as you rock the hips side to side. Relax the neck, relax the head. Nice deep breaths through the body. End of your exhale. Can you walk your feet forward? Now remember if you are pregnant, use a block or a water bottle to bring your hands onto or just rest your hands onto your thighs here, keeping a little bend in the knees. Having your feet wider than hip width. Otherwise, have your feet hip width and just allow your upper body to fold over the legs. Keeping your tummy engaged here and try to really feel the belly against the thighs and just shake the head out. Breathe in to lift up halfway. Exhale into that fold. Now as we spread through the toes, bring the weight back into the heels. Hands to hips, we rise all the way to standing. And we're just going to shake out that left hand. Imagine you're flicking off water. We did this in Friday's class, but it's just a great way to wake up the muscles in that left arm. Doesn't have to be that quick, can be a little movement. Shaking out any stuck energy. Then let's go with the right. Breathing in here. And then inhale, both arms extend up to the sky. Exhale, reach around, hands to hips, little bend in the knees. Let's take it down into that fold. Bring in the hands down if that feels okay. Step your right foot back. If you're pregnant, have your left foot towards the left edge. If you're not, have your hands to the inside of that foot. So you've got plenty of room for baby here. Otherwise, to the inside of that left hand. And we're just going to rock it forwards and backwards. And then we're going to change the movement. So as you rock forward, you're going to take that knee out to the left, lift the five toes of your left foot, and drop that knee out to the side, bring it back. Out to the side and back. And it might be that this is only like a little movement here, and that's okay. Just explore that range of mobility again. Stay with that breath. We'll do one more here. And then we step back into downward dog. Nice deep breath through the body. Pressing down through the index finger and the thumb. Keep reaching back. And with that exhale, let's bring the feet forward as we come to the top of our mats. Adjust this pose as you need to for your body. Inhale, hands to hips. Rise all the way up. Reach the arms straight up overhead. Exhale, hands to hips. Little softness in the knees. Take it all the way down into that fold. Left foot steps back this time. So again, please take that foot out to give you plenty of space for baby if you're pregnant. Otherwise, keep it to the inside. And just start with that little rock forwards and backwards. And then the next time we rock forwards, we're going to hold it here. Take that knee out to the side. As you lift all of the toes in the right foot, let that knee drop. As you look forward, then bring it back. Out to the side and back. One more time. And then back into downward dog. Take three deep breaths. If you need to come into a child's pose here, please take a child's pose. We're taking three deep breaths before we come into the next round of movement. And really think about lengthening that exhale. And at the end of your third breath, we'll just bring the knees down. Great work, everybody. So we're going to come into that next range of movement now. So what I want you to do is you're going to step your right foot forward. Remember, outside if you're pregnant, otherwise it's the inside of your right hand. 
And if you've come to this variation, just see if you can step that foot a little further forward so you're really getting deep into that hip. And as you look ahead of you, shoulders back, we're just going to lean back, slightly lift the toes, then lean forward. And it might be that this movement looks a bit like this, but see if you can get all the way back and all the way forward. Then from here, you're going to keep that right hand down onto the mat. Now if you need to, particularly if you're pregnant, you can bring your right forearm to the right thigh and you can just bring your left arm up, left shoulder back and just feel that gentle open in the left side of the body. But for a deeper stretch, keep your right hand to the outside of that right foot as you reach your left arm over, draw that left shoulder back and don't let that knee fall inwards. Keep that knee over the heel. Breathe into here. Nice deep breaths. And then slowly come all the way up. Now we have all have our right forearm to that right thigh. And you're either going to just stay here with that left arm up. Or I want you to see, so if you come onto those left toes, you might need to fold over your mat for extra padding or use a cushion. Can you lift that back foot up as you grab a hold of the foot and we stretch out that quad. And then try and bring that left shoulder forward slightly as we breathe into here. This is a really deep stretch in that quad, so if you don't feel like it's very comfortable, just keep that foot down, especially if it feels a bit much on the knee. But rather than putting the pressure on the knee, it's at the bottom of that thigh that you're putting the pressure on. Slowly release, bring the hands down to the left. And walk your hands all the way around to the left. Keep your right knee where it is. Just come onto the fingertips and feel this stretch here. Then as you walk your hands in towards you, lift that back knee up, and you're gonna bring your back heel down as you walk your hands to the center of your mat. Your feet are parallel here. Feet are real into this wide fold. And you can stay here, just enjoying that stretch at the back of the legs. Otherwise, if we put the weight into your left hand, see so if you can reach your right arm up. And this is a safe twist to do through the first and second trimester here, um, because we're not getting too deep here. So you can just come to here, so it's just a very gentle twist. Otherwise, get deeper into it, so you really try and stack the shoulders, turn the right palm towards the back of the room, bring the hand towards your left hip. Breathe into here. Bring that hand back around and down. Let's do that the other side. So left arm comes up. Remember you can stop at any point. See if you can bring that hand behind the back to your right hip as you lift that left shoulder back. Keep pressing down through the little toe edges of the feet as you breathe. And then slowly release, bring that hand down. From here, you're going to bend the knees. And you're going to turn the heels inwards with your toes pointing out. As you bring one hand onto the thigh and then the other, and you lift into this goddess squat. It might be that your goddess squat looks a bit more like this, if you're feeling it in the legs. Otherwise, see if you can get nice and low into this squat position. Try to keep your knees nice and open, don't let them fall inwards. So by pressing down through the little toe edges, helps to create that space in the hips. And then with the hands on the thighs, just bring your right shoulder forward, left shoulder back. Then switch. So we're just dipping in here. Breathing into this space. Then lifting the chest, inhale, palms together. Exhale, come back up, arms to the side. You're going to bend your right knee as you turn your right toes towards the front edge of the mat. Turn your left toes inward slightly. Breathe into here. Then what I want you to do is if you can lift your right heel in that front foot, sink down a little deeper as you drop the hips and bring that heel down, come back up. One more time, we lift that heel, we sink. We lower that heel, we come back up. Great work, everybody. Now from here, bringing hands to heart, step to the top of the mat, give those legs a little shake. Inhale, arms reach up. We're almost done, everyone. Exhale, hands to hips. Take it into that little fold as we bring the hands down. And then from here, we're going to step that left foot back and bring your left knee down. 
So you've either got your left foot to the outside of your left hand, so plenty of room for baby, or to the inside. So then from here, you've got the option of coming up to here, bring that right arm up, so you're into more of a gentle stretch. If you want to get deeper into this hip, bring your left hand down and then reach that right arm up, stretch it to the front through, really bring that right shoulder back as we breathe into here. Nice deep breaths. And then slowly come back up, bringing that left forearm onto that left thigh. You can just bring the right arm up and hold it here. If you want to add that back leg stretch, you're going to lift that back leg. Remember you can fold over your mat if you need to, as you grab a hold of the foot. Try and bring your shoulders forward slightly so you're deep in that stretch. Breathing into here. And then release it, bring the hands down, walk your hands around to the right, reaching towards the right. Don't let your legs wobble or move, keep them nice and steady. And then walking your hands in, you're going to lift that back knee, bring the back heel down. Turning your toes inward slightly, so your feet are parallel as you come into this fold. Now remembering, if you just want to stay here, you can, otherwise we're going to add that twist. So we'll bring our left arm up. We're gonna bring the back of the hand to the right hip as you open that left shoulder. Breathe. Other way, we bring the left hand down. Right arm comes up and around. Breathe into here. Then bring it down. For the last time, we're gonna come into that goddess squat. So you're going to bend the knees, turn your toes outwards, your heels in. Bring your hands onto the thighs, lifting up into that goddess squat here. Nice deep breaths and just start by dropping your right shoulder, look to the left, other way, and one more each side, then inhale, lift the chest, bring the arms up, palms together, and exhale to rise up. So turn your right toes in, turn your left toes forward as we come into warrior two. And if you're feeling a little bit too much in your hips, especially if you are pregnant, you can make this pose narrower in the body. It doesn't have to be as deep. Open out through the arms. You don't want to lean forward here. Try to have the crown of your head really centered to the center of your mat. Then see if you can lift your left heel as you drop forward. Bring the heel down, come back up. One more time, we lift the heel, we drop forward. Heel comes down, we lift back up. Great work, hands to hips, step to the top of the mat. Shake out those legs. Great work, everyone. Nice big inhale, all the way up, stretch up to the sky. Exhale, hands to hips. Have a little bend in the knees if you need, as we take it into that fall. Bring the hands down, we're gonna step one knee back and then the other. Take your knees nice and wide, bring your toes together. You're going to bring your sit bones back to the hips. As you reach your arms forward, come into a child's pose. Forehead down onto the mat. And breathe into here. Nice deep breaths. If you're really feeling it in the hips, just make your stance a bit narrow. Bring the knees in closer towards one another. But child's pose is a really lovely stretch for the lower back and also for those hips. So just take three really deep breaths into this pose. Add in any movement here that you might need. And you'll just slowly bring yourself up when you're ready. Bring the thighs together. Hands onto the thighs. And just pause here for a moment. We've done a lot of opening in those hips. Kind of reset those hips here, just feel them a little bit more narrower as you breathe in here. Just checking with yourself if you're pregnant and you're doing this, checking with baby. It's a little bit of a harder flow today, so hopefully you just check it to where it feels right in your body. And then let's just extend those legs out in front of us. Giving the legs a little shake. You're going to straighten that left leg out, reach the toes out, bend in the right knee. And your, our first option is to do an open twist as we walk the left hand around the back, bring the right arm to the inside of that right thigh and look over your left shoulder. This is the pregnancy version, otherwise you're going to do a closed twist, you'll bring this foot to the outside 
of that left thigh or sit up nice and tall. Right hand behind the back, lift the left arm up as we stretch. And exhale, bring the back of that arm onto the right thigh and look over your right shoulder. Breathe in here. Slowly release. Take the legs out, give them a little shake. Let's take that the other way. So we bring that left leg in, right toes up. Remember, you've got your open twist, left arm to left thigh, look over your right shoulder. Otherwise, cross the left leg over the right thigh. So you're squeezing your thighs together. Left hand behind you, right arm up to the sky, breathe in. Exhale to twist, hook the arm onto that thigh. And you can just use it as a little lever to get deeper into this twist. Looking over that left shoulder here. Keep those right toes nice and active. As you breathe in here. And then release, giving both legs a nice little shake. Take any final stretches that you might need here. We're gonna come into our Shavasana. So we're just gonna come into a little bit of mindfulness to close our practice. It'd be quite nice if you sat onto something so you're not sitting directly onto those sit bones. I'm going to sit onto a little cushion here. And there is no right or wrong way to do your Shavasana, so whatever you feel comfortable. So just take your time to feel comfortable. We're just going to do a few minutes here. We have done, again, as I said, a lot of hip opening. So I'm going to do mine into this position where your thighs are together and your heels are to the outside of those hips. This is quite an intense stretch. If this feels too much for you, you can come into a normal cross-legged position. You can just kneel. Again, whatever works for you. And then we're gonna come to bring the backs of the hands onto the thighs. And I want you to notice if you're slouching here, if you're dropping the chin. And just see if you can peel the chest up. Roll the shoulders back and keep that chin nice and soft. But so we have this lovely length in the back and plenty of space to breathe into the stomach. With the backs of the hands onto your thighs, just gently close the eyes. And just begin to notice how you feel now in the body at the end of your class. You begin to relax the space between the eyebrow. Soften the cheeks. Create a little space between the back teeth. As you unclench the jaw. And just start to bring this awareness down the back of the neck. Feeling the muscles here relax and soften. Relaxing the muscles around the shoulders and the arms. You feel your arms become heavy. Coming back to your natural rhythm of the breath, in and out through the nose. your belly to hang free. No force, no effort. Just surrender into the moment. Focusing on the breath. And how it feels as we inhale. And we exhale. bringing hands together, bringing hands to heart. I'd like you to set yourself an intention for your day. It doesn't have to be anything big. It could be something small. And then let us bow our heads as we close our practice. Namaste. So 
just take your time coming back round to the room. Gently blinking the eyes open, maybe adding a little movement into the head, just turning side to side. Moving into the shoulders, the hands, the fingers, 